Today in the Daily Dose, Raphael. Born Raffaello Sanzio in 1483, Urbino, Italy, Raphael's father taught him basic painting techniques and the principles of humanistic philosophy in the Duke of Urbino's court. And when his father died suddenly, when Raphael was just 11 years old, he soon rose in stature to be considered one of the finest painters in a town already brimming with master artists. Beginning a four-year apprenticeship under Perugino as a teenager, Raphael developed his own unique painting style as witnessed in such early works as his 1502 Mon Crucifixion, his 1503 The Three Graces, and his 1504 Marriage of the Virgin. Moving to Florence that same year, Raphael's later art would be heavily influenced by the work of Fra Bartolomeo, Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, and Masaccio, producing an intricate, expressive style absent in his earlier paintings. Producing a series of Madonnas over the next three years, his experimentation and growth as an artist culminated in works such as La Belle Jardinière and The Entombment before moving to Rome in 1508 to paint in the Vatican Stanzi and Stanza del Signatura rooms under the patronage of Pope Julius II, producing a series of some of the most highly regarded frescoes of the Italian High Renaissance. During the same period, Raphael also produced his famed Madonna of the Chair and Sistine Madonna, and as his reputation and finances grew under his driven ambition, Raphael was able to hire a crew of assistants to finish his frescoes, allowing him to focus on other projects, including his impressive achievements as an architect. After famed architect Donato Bramante died in 1514, Pope Leo X hired Raphael as his chief architect, where Raphael designed the chapel of Santa Eligio de Gliorfici, Rome's Santa Maria del Popolo Chapel, and an interior space inside St. Peter's New Basilica. He also took on secular architectural projects, which helped define the architectural styles of the late Renaissance and early Baroque periods. Passing away on his 37th birthday from mysterious causes, when his funeral mass was held at the Vatican, his unfinished transfiguration was placed on his coffin stand before his body was interred at the Pantheon in Rome. Today, Raphael continues to be celebrated for his balanced and harmonious compositions, making Raphael a leading figure of the Italian Renaissance. And there you have it, Raphael, today in the Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with the Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.